understand how far you've slipped. Get real. I am. No, you're not. Why aren't your customers coming back to your restaurants? Faith. I don't know. Tonight was a shock to me. Like, wow. Why everything is coming back? There is certain plates I I'm very proud of and it came back. But it's not good enough. What you're doing is so wrong. Flaming grill, it's not. Extinguished grill, it is. And the problems, Faith, are inside. Do you want this business to continue? I feel like I'm hanging by a thread. There's no point of running this. I've been praying and saying tomorrow would be a better day. That better day is not coming. <laughs> I'm done. I just have nothing else. That will be such failure. <laughs> I never seen it in that way, never. I can see the sadness. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm just overwhelmed. No, no, please don't be overwhelmed, but just answer this for me. Do you want to continue? <laughs> I do. This is all I have. I'm just burned out. I overwork. No, no, but are you 100% sure that you want to continue in this business? I do. I love what I do. Tonight it didn't show because I really didn't love the way things were going. Okay. Um, I'm getting out of here. I want you to change your attitude because you can't change what you're doing we have no chance in trying to change this restaurant yes i hope to see you tomorrow thank you sir i honestly have nothing left if i lose here this is it this is my life and if it doesn't work I don't know what to do. You have two seconds. Uh, yeah, that was rough. Rough. And I'm going to call it as I sit. You guys are just go through the motions. And when something goes wrong, you fall out with your auntie, she falls out with you, and all of a sudden, you then just go back into your own corners. And the only people suffering are the customers. All night long, the problems are on the outside. The problems are the customers. It's never inside, and we never ever look objectively and understand how bad we are. Everyone's walking around in denial. It was hard to hear. I'm not upset because I'm in denial. I'm just upset because this is the first time we've we've, I'm we've encountered this. Not trying to rub your face in it, right. but tonight, three tables started complaining about the hummus. I ran 100 meters up the road. I still bought it. Came back through the kitchen, presented it. They loved it. I'm trying to get that message through to your aunt. But when customers think that a store bought hummus is better than what you've just served them and charged them three times the money, that's how far we've slipped. And you know what? It's sad in there. It's so sad. I, I've got a question for you. Deep down inside, from the bottom of your heart. Do you want to seriously continue running this business? I definitely do. Do you? Yes, I do. A hundred percent. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Good night. Good night. I need a hug. You're okay? Everything for the best. Don't worry. We need to make it better. You know, he's right when it comes to certain points. 
I just, I need you to help me here. Instead of pointing the finger, can we come up with a list of things that you, you could do change. to improve? I think that would be, that's actually I a really actually great idea. I actually go, I'm really tired. I'm frustrated. In Faye's mind, she thinks that we're the problem and that we make mistakes and that we're the issue. But she's the chef, she's the prep, she does everything. And I believe 100% that she won't change, and there's no question about it. OK, everybody clock out and go home. I'd love to fix all these problems about my hands are tied. Faye has to trust me as a business partner in order for things to change. Chef Ramsey knows the only way he can move forward with fixing the restaurant Let's come out over here. is that he first must find a way to get Brenda and Faye on the same page. He begins the day with a staff meeting with the goal of clearing the air. Last night, I saw you, Faye, burnt out, feeling alone, isolated, and you saw no light at the end of the tunnel. I understand after you telling me how hard it is and you're on your own. I get all that. I got that yesterday. But last night, I watched everything and you work, talk, and perform like someone has given up. Last night, I went into the kitchen and just took a few notes. There must be three to four weeks' worth of prep, frozen solid in there. All freezer birds are supposed to be beefy. Sure. Do you know, in that freezer, there's containers stacked this high full of prep. You've prepped so far in advance, it's freezer birds. Then I look at the refrigeration unit in there, and it is bedlam. The fresh stuff is at the front, and the old stuff is at the back. I honestly don't have all the stuff that... there. You don't? Oh, this is so difficult. I'm not going to embarrass you and bring out the yellow and the rotten parsley. OK. So you know what's in the back of the fridge? Yes. What I want to talk about this morning is why is it like that? Lack of help, lack of... <laughs> You're freezing it for the lack of help. Yes. Faye, before I can go any further forward, let me ask you this. Do you think that you're the only one that's actually working and prepping in this restaurant? Yes. They can call me a liar if they want to. They come here, do their shaft. I feel like they're here to make their tips and leave. Right. That's, that's my honest truth. Yeah, well... That's how I feel about them. So who was the first person that literally gave up? Your son. Um, Your niece. Brenda. Brenda, is that true? You sit there in silence. I sit here in silence because I know the truth. I know that I've stepped up so many times. I do. But she has other people who offer to do it. I try to help, but... I don't like Amal to be in the kitchen because she cries about everything and little thing, and she... all day. Um, all no. day. No. Yes, she did burn herself with hot what? water, booked herself with knife, even... I haven't poked myself with a knife. Uh, she's denying this right now because she doesn't... Not... Let me finish. I feel responsible for her asking for bandage all the time, and I don't want blood in the food, I don't want the drama itself. Amal complains about being here. After 9 o'clock, she gave me an attitude face. It was 10.30. But it was and... her time to go out with her boyfriend, waiting for her outside. She's this. Only talk, not, not do. Right. And uh... when I say that to her, she take it as a mean, I'm a biggest bee that she ever seen. Do you trust her? I... I do. She's the amazing help. She She's a very she good worker. I'm confused. She's I trust her, but I don't trust her. Does she not welcome help? Oh, not for me whatsoever. I think when she's drained, she accepts the help, but she has to reach that level. Can I say why why I do that? Go ahead. I hear complaints from Brenda all the time because she wants off. She needs her time That's off. That's not what Brenda's saying. Look at Brenda. Hey. I tell you when I have a family event to go to and I slip out of here for an extra day, I feel guilty 
I know and I've expressed that. that to you so many times. I, I feel guilty. What? I, tell you I don't why. like taking time I tell off. You why. And it's because I tell you why, and I wanted you to have fun and enjoy family when you're out of here. Exactly. So you don't come with that burden and that look again. Like you don't want to be here. And I don't want you to have that same look either, Faye. I didn't have that look till recently. How many, when no. Like How many times do have I told and you? I am the one who have to carry everything. Faye, wait a minute. I How many straight. times have I asked you, please take an extra time off? I go you, home you for a few able days. To do things when I'm not here? And I do. I do anything that you ask me to do. You tell me to roast ask. the eggplant and peel it. I ask. do. Because unless I ask you to please let me do something, let me help you out. Unless I do, you don't tell me, hey, come back I here and help me. Last. How many and times? And I leave it 90% of the time. I end up with no Christmas 90, in the morning. 99% of the when time When I have done. lunch and I have to serve. No, 99% of the time is done. And if it's not done, it's because I was busy on the line. That's the only time stuff doesn't get done. I have many times walked in the back. She's like, I have a lot of preparation. What can I help with? I'll put freaking gloves on and I'll pull out a a cutting board and a knife, tell me how to do it. Show me how to do Until it. Until we get a phone call and we leave the kitchen, never come back. I'm so confused. But I They're am. I, I not... go through the same stuff you do. I mean, I'm not sitting here freaking leg over leg doing nothing. So why does Faye have to prep for you when it's her day off? Because she feels that she needs to season things, that she needs to cut things, and it has to be why done no? by You're cooking her. Them. You're cooking them. It's like you can't trust your family. Who can you trust? It's not a point of trust. It's a point well, of everyone, they want their time off. So they don't want to be here as much as you do? It's Even not... your 50% partner? Yes. Wow. That's not wow. true. That is so not true. That's true. Maybe everybody's assuming, assuming that I don't want to be here, or she doesn't want to be here, or nobody wants to be here. It's not voiced. Right. Nothing's voiced. There's. <laughs> Poor communication. I can see that. This is crazy. Any of you, any of you showed up an hour earlier just to get your even your own thing going? I show up early a lot, actually. I, I never... have your time card. OK, you have my time card. Then you know I'm at least 10 to 20 never, minutes early. You're here 20, 30, 40, one hour earlier. Because You're I don't here. need to be here an hour early if... because I need to take care of my dining room. That is the job that you have given me, but so I do. Did you hear that? She took care of the dining away. room, which looks like this all the time. Why do you feel so uncomfortable that the night before you take your day off, you have to control them with everything that you do? Why has it got that bad? Nobody stepped in. Nobody Even stepped in. She asked. Brenda's Brenda. offered. That's Everybody's enough. offered, and she won't teach anybody because she wants to do it. When she complains and stuff like that, she doesn't allow That's anybody to do anything. I even told you bring a damn piece of paper and a pen and write down what I tell One you. One time, two days ago, Don't three have... days ago. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't ever use that word with me, ever. I mean it. Do not ever use this language with me. It's all about my language, but you're not listening to what I'm trying to say behind no, it. No, I'm trying. For the last four, five, seven years you were here, did you ever ask me to come and write things down? No, but I've come and That's asked it. help in the That's kitchen. Enough. You can ask her. When you I'm ask, when you ask, I told you to come and bring a piece of paper and pen and write exactly no, what didn't. I'm doing. You didn't. You told me that three days ago when we were making that sandwich. That was the only time you asked. Time you've ever said anything but like that. That was the only don't... time. And Whatever. I told you do not use that language Whatever. with me for the second time. Whatever. I've, I've offered so many times. Well, You've been here for years. If you were so smart, why well, you didn't come next to me one day and said, you know what? I, I did. I, I stayed in the kitchen and watched you cut meat. And you tell me to shut up and get out. No, that's not true. That's a lie. What started out as a staff meeting to clear the air... I go through the same stuff you do! ...has erupted into a screaming match between Faye and the staff. I even told you bring a damn piece of paper and a pen and write down what I tell you! One time! Two days ago! Are you fucking kidding me? With Faye holding on to her belief that no one is committed... So they don't want to be here as much as you do? Yes. Wow. ...and the staff holding on to their belief... Nobody wants to help her because she's so critical of the way you do help her! ...that Faye is actually unwilling to accept help from anyone. OK, stop, 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 stop. Don't you want to be consistent? Yeah, of course, yeah, naturally. But what is it that you struggle with to teach them? I try. Uh, no, I don't think I you're try. trying enough. She doesn't have the patience to train somebody. If she does, she'll show you, and then she'll say, do it. And then if you do it, and it's not perfect the way she wants, she'll get so frustrated, and she'll yell at you to the point where it's just, okay. you feel overwhelmed yourself. And Did I ever do that with you? Yes. That's not true. Mom, is that true? She has a hard time trusting people. 
Faye told me yesterday, if you were not family, one, two, three, four of you would be fucking fired. Now. Yes. Why can't you trust them to run this business? I can. You can. Prove, prove I can. it. Prove it. No, you need I to can. prove that you, you have the trust. OK. I'm going to agree to something. I'm going to leave everything not done the night before. Not and done. you walk here, and you ask to be served food and see what you're going to get. Stop there. Do you know what? Fuck it. We're going to open for lunch. I'd like to see you and you behind the line. I'd like to see you and you in the dining room. And you are going home. OK. OK? And I will give you feedback on how it went. You've got 15 minutes. Let's go. 15 minutes. You happy with that? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I know I could do this without Faye, and I would love for her to see that I am capable of doing this, and I can run the show. It's your time to show. Yeah. You okay? I'm okay. You sure? Yes. This is hard for you. Very. Yeah. Today is gonna be a disaster. I don't feel like it goes the way it's supposed to go when I'm not here. Now, um, I want you to jump in here. Yeah. They're gonna struggle without me. I have a confession for you. You're not going home, really. I'd like you to sit in here and watch carefully. Because I don't think you really know what goes on in your restaurant when you're not there. Okay. Listen carefully. I will. Pay close attention to everything you see. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you, sir. I'll see you later. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Amel or Vanessa, does someone know how to put the rice cooker on Coke? No. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Um, wow, my. Brenda, this is the cooking, right? No. <laughs> I'm holding my breath for them. We got customers coming in, guys. Hello. Hi. Oh, welcome to Zana Flaming Grill. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll play with you. Now, what can I get for you, sir? I'll do the lamb kebab plate. I'm going to try the beef shawarma sandwich. Can we try the matabo? The matabo? Yeah. Sure. First order on. Yeah. What is it? Um, a metabol appetizer. OK. If you can get the sides for me, Mark. You got it. The first orders are in. How are we doing on the meats, Mark? Beef is done. Kofta is done. Excellent. One piece of lamb should be coming out any minute. And without phased micromanagement. Are those potatoes ready? It needs to go yep. out with potatoes ready. All right. Brenda, working alongside Mark, seems to have the kitchen under control. This is ready. Table two. Here we go. We have your falafel. Beef shawarma sandwich with onions. Thank you. You're welcome. And the lunch service is off to a solid start. I need chicken shawarma started. Turn around and check Brenda because there is shawarma sitting there for a while. Mark, let me know what's ready so we can start dishing. Chicken's almost ready. Beef shawarma's almost ready. The beef, maybe two more minutes before the beef shawarma. You have a whole pan that's cooked already. Come on, you guys. Use the cooked one. The chicken is done. Make sure that shawarma have no oil in it when you dish it. A little bit more. Oh, my god. Go. Table five. Huh? No. It just seems like everything in here is over oil. Do you want me to just take it? Uh, please. Okay, sure. Uh, it's a bit of oil. It just seemed a little bit over oil. Yeah, oil, not down, sorry. Table five does want the kebabs, but they don't want to wait 20 minutes for it. It's going to be a 10 minute wait. Okay, I'll tell them. As the busy lunch service continues without Faye. Okay, we're getting backed up. Pressure in the kitchen is clearly mounting. Make sure your customers are happy, guys. I, no, Mark, you don't have to say things like that. Faye's son, Mark, and outspoken server, Amel. I, can you? Amel, I need to make plenty of potatoes. Move that. I, are beginning to butt heads. Go do something else. Don't worry about it. I'll get it done for you when it's We heard you. Thank you. We hear you. Thank you. Amel, you have a fucking mouth on you that's unbelievable. Hey, Mark, watch your mouth. Relax. Emma, so I can't... Shut up. Mark. Go. Watch Go. it. Don't talk to Go. like that. Come on, you guys. Go. Without the staff's knowledge, Chef Ramsay is attempting to show Faye that the restaurant can run without her. I don't think you really know what goes on in your restaurant when you're not there. He has set up a stakeout vehicle for her to observe. Now you have a fucking mouth on you that's unbelievable. Oh, my God. And although Brenda 
seems to have a firm grip on running the kitchen. Are those potatoes ready? It needs to go yeah, out with this order. Ready. All right. Mark and Amel have started to bicker at each other. I, Amel, so I can't see. Shut up. Mark. Go. Wash go. It. Don't talk go. like that. Come on, you guys. You OK? Yes. I swear to God, I'm going to shove my foot straight oh. up his goddamn ass. Mark. Uh-oh. Sarcasm needs to stop. Well, it's it's called communication. Brenda's getting straight to the point with Amel. This is really hard for me. Why is it hard? Because I put Look, more dedication and more love into this, and Mark is going to yell at me and tell me what he's to do. He's not yelling at what? you. He's you kidding? I had parsley in my Look, hand. I was sprinkling it. I told him I was going to take stop it. For a second. Amel gets very frustrated when someone trying to correct her. No, no, but look at the way Brenda's controlling the situation. When Mark does that to us, can you stop and listen to me? Okay. When something sits on the counter, it needs to go out quickly. See, Brenda can do it. Look how tough. He asked you what table so we can go out hot and fresh. That's Brenda showing that she's capable of being a boss. Yes. But he is here to help you. Um, Brenda seems to be in charge now. I'm proud of her. Do you want to continue to argue? No, we get this done. All right, I'm going to start dishing. Mark, let me know what's ready so we can start dishing. It's almost ready. Beef shawarma's almost ready. Start dishing, Brenda. Table five, ready? So I have your order all set. Good job. Good job, guys. You ready? We'll have a little fun with them now, OK? Sure. Then you can tell them how proud they are. Last table gone? Yes. Yes, good. Come over, guys. Please. So why don't you just give Faye a little insight to how it went? I thought the heat was on for quite a few minutes just because we got slammed with orders. But with mm -hmm. the communication with me and Mark, uh, tag teaming on the grill and just communicating across the board. One or two uh, plates come back, but when we put it back out, not one complaint. I have a confession to make. Faye did not go home. <laughs> she was with you because she was sat behind the restaurant in the car park, watching everything you did, listening to everything you said on a monitor. And I think she has something she'd like to say to you all. I'm really proud of you all. There is a few mistakes that we can work on. And what did you think of Brenda's performance? Amazing. You're amazing, and I feel like I don't tell you enough. It's an eye-opener for me what I saw today, to see how hard you work, and I commend you for taking a charge. And I did this little exercise for Faye to watch to understand how good you are. And let me tell you something. You clearly passed the test. You did. Yeah. I was proud so well of done. you all. We do have to improve the food, right? Granted, yes. Yes? yes? But for me, the relationship was far more important than the food first. Today is a new beginning, OK? Give me 15 minutes, and I'd like to get into the kitchen and start cooking something exciting with the two owners. Well done, all of you. I'm really excited that Faye got to watch how we run the place. I really do hope Faye starts treating me as a partner and not her niece. It's gone on definitely too long, and we're ready to move forward. I really hope in the future we can agree about the staff meeting. Definitely. And we have to address what's bothering us. I know now we have to work as a team. And I hope that we could move from my obsession with everything being perfect. We need to act like a team, and we need to strive as a team. And I realize it's about time to treat Brenda as my business partner and not only my niece. You know, I know that we need to fix a lot of things. We definitely proved it to Faye that we can do our jobs. We are capable of helping her out when she needs, and she just needs to allow us to do it. So we'll see what happens. You did a good job. I'm proud. Let's go. You two. What is that? Fresh fish. Oh, uh, it's definitely fresh fish. How does it feel? Yeah, awesome. Here's the thing. Find fresh, sending that message out to your customers is the only message to go ahead. So I'm going to do two very simple dishes. We'll do a nice yellowtail, we'll do a nice little shrimp kebab. It's an uh, out of this world experience to be taught by Chef Ramsey. Find the grill and start to market. I am learning that when you said fresh, it means really fresh. It doesn't mean it's frozen fresh. Fresh lemon juice in. And the rice, make you smell the herbs. Smells okay, and the lemon amazing. in there. From there, my herbs go in, and then I've got a little touch of vegetable stock. Just a touch. Goes what off. kind of stock? Sit vegetable down. stock. I've poured my heart and soul into this place in the last five years, and 
This is the first time I feel like an equal partner with Faye. I'm just going to show you how we play this up. If we cook just delicious and fresh, and if Brenda will continue to change her work ethics, be a business owner, I think will make us very strong team. Amazing. Something very important you should both know. Yesterday, after my lunch, I went around town, but I asked just people walking towards me, tell me about Zaina's Flaming Grill. Zania's Flaming Grill, ever heard of it? No. Damn. Passed through, I've seen it, never really stopped. Have you been? I have not. Nobody's heard of this place, man. Over three quarters of the people I spoke to, they have never heard of Zaina's Flaming Grill. So I've arranged for a small exclusive spot at the Redondo Pier. We're going to tell Redondo that you're here to stay, and we're here to relaunch, OK? and we're going to take little samplers to get the word out there. Most importantly, I want them leaving with Zayna's Flaming Grill's flavor. OK, awesome. Um, get all the team together, and we're going to head to the Redondo Pier, OK? Yes, sir. Yeah? <laughs> Come over, guys. All right, how are you feeling? Oh, sure. Feeling good. So, we're relaunching tomorrow night. Hi. Yeah. Zayna's Flaming Grill is now flaming hot. Uh, why don't you and I okay. work behind? All right. Yeah, and then you three can market the hell out of the new yes. Zayna's Flaming, flaming grill. grill. Yeah? Got it? Yes. OK, let's go. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. You guys hungry? Come on in. Yes. Enjoy. Enjoy, guys. Here we go. Enjoy. A delicious shrimp kebab with a tzatziki sauce. Enjoy. This is definitely what we need right now. People that actually live really close or just a few minutes away have never heard about us. Rosanna's Flaming Grill, PCH is having you at. We're doing a new launch. We'd love to have you in. We're by the beach. We should let the community know that we are here and we're serving the best of the best. Enjoy. How's it taste? Excellent. <laughs> it's really good. Delicious. Anyone for shrimp? Would you like some? I love really the sauce. Good. Excellent. We've never done anything like this, so I think this is really big to come out here and come together and be a team. We'd love to see you guys. It's a new beginning. You guys got to come check us out. Zena's Flaming Grill is going to be flaming awesome. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. What's going on now is just, it's a whole new Zena. Everything is just finally falling in place the way it should be. The yeah, motivation to drive that was lacking is back. Thank you. The flame is back, right? The flame is back. With the word out to the community about the changes at Zena, Chef Ramsay and his team have just 12 hours to turn a Mediterranean restaurant into a beachside hangout. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are we feeling? Very excited. Good. Ready to go crazy. Are you ready for the new Zena? Yes. yes. We all are. No fainting allowed. <laughs> Let us see it. On the count of three. One, two, three. Welcome to the new oh Zainas. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it looks stunning. I love it. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so beautiful. Gone is that dreary cream color. We have given it a fun, beachy vibe. It's as beautiful as they are. The booths were hideous. We have completely opened this space up, which has given you another 12 seats. This is a completely different restaurant. And then we got stalls. We're going to take advantage of that bar. Amazing. At the tables, you have these stunning pewter chairs. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful dinner and flatware donated by Oneida. Plates, bowls, knife and forks, you name it, you've got it. You can't um, imagine how thankful I am for this. Amazing cool pop art. I love it. Quirky, colorful, and cool. Amazing. This is our dream come true. It is, definitely is. It couldn't be more perfect. It's very hip, very beachy, and we're ready to unite and get this party going. Thank you so much. You OK? I'm very happy. OK, you're crying. I thought you were <laughs> OK. I honestly never dreamed about owning a place like this. My restaurant was really old-fashioned before. Now it's a beautiful place for people to come in after a day at the beach and enjoy a beautiful beach restaurant. <laughs> Now that Chef Ramsay has brought the beach vibe to Zena, Come on over there. He reveals the new tasty, fresh menu to the staff. Oh, wow. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. First off, the dips. 
roasted red pepper hummus. Not liquid, but a nice textured hummus. Delicious tabbouleh, parsley, scallions, tomatoes, lemon juice, and a classic bulgur wheat. Beautiful. And then the lamb meatball gyro. Serve in the pitta, scallions, and tahini as well. Wow. Shrimp kebab finished with lemon and beautifully served with the pita bread. Last night, we cooked together that wonderful yellowtail. Again, soda potatoes, red onions, and we serve, grill the fish, and send. Excited to taste? Definitely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Have a really good taste, because tonight, we're going to relaunch this stunning Mediterranean grill with a big bag. Jump in. Mm. The hardest part is figuring out where to start. Mm. This is a party in my mouth right now. Wow. <laughs> You're going to love this. If I start liking that, we might run low before the customers get here. <laughs> Delicious, good recipe. This new menu is a dream. A little bit of a change just makes a big difference. Mm. Holy we should put cow. these two together. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready to launch my restaurant tonight. I have everything I need now to really serve it on the beach. And it will be just a wonderful feeling to have Brenda and I working together as a team. Having spread the word in Redondo Beach about the new look and menu at Zena Flaming Grill, this looks so good. The restaurant is fully booked for relaunch. It looks like the beach. It does look like the beach. It's cool. Were you guys ready to order? I'm gonna go with the grilled local yellow tail. The yellow tail? Um, the zucchini fritters. I'm sure you ladies will enjoy everything. Right, you ready? We're fired up. We have the flame back, Martin. and I yep. have to show you that tonight. Okay, have you warned your husband the flame's back? I right? told him earlier today, I... and he thought I was talking about something else. <laughs> <laughs> and he... <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep it clean. It's a family restaurant, for goodness sake. <laughs> okay, zucchini fritters, I'll start that. Good. I'm starting the two calamaris in the zucchini, okay? Okay. okay. Good, that's it, talk. The okay. more talking, the better, okay? Okay, Brenda. Crispy calamari and grilled yellowtail and what else? And shrimp, shrimp kebab. kebab. For relaunch, Chef Ramsay has set up a new system in the kitchen that has Faye and Brendan working side by side. Firing up fries. Beef kebab. Rice on grill. And so far, the plan is working. It's yummy. It's so good. Everything was seasoned perfectly. But as the orders start to fly in... Two calamaris and a zucchini fritter coming up, okay, Faye? Faye has stopped communicating. Are we good on rice? Do we need rice, Faye? Faye, talk to Brenda. And that's slowing down the delivery of the food. Food's kind of taking Faye, you don't even look at me. You just stop talking. I'm doing it. <laughs> I know, we're talking words at the same time. Okay? okay. There we are. Can I please know the status on table nine? Um, did you hear me? Faye is so used to having her mindset where she has to do everything. Faye, come on. She just needs to understand that it's not just her in the kitchen anymore, that it's her and Brenda. How far out is table nine? No answer. I know. What's going next, please, Brenda? Because face turned off. We got a lamb kebab, medium rare, and the yellowtail. Let me know if you need something, Faye. She's not even saying anything. She's just turned off. Faye is just not communicating. And I just truly hope that we can make it through this dinner without totally falling apart. How are we doing, Faye? 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 It's relaunch night at Zaina Flaming Grill. And Chef Ramsay has implemented a two-chef system in the kitchen. How are we doing down there, Faye? Where communication is the key. Faye, did you get that? But shortly after dinner started, Faye has shut down and is no longer communicating with Brenda. Brenda, 30 seconds. Faye has shut down. She's so used to working on her own, she refused to talk. So get out, get out, okay. get some okay. just, just completely flat, okay. silent and flat. Right. Yeah, your partner, don't forget. Okay. You're in the driver's seat now. Yeah, get her going, please. Okay. Please. How are we doing, Faye? Talk to me. Faye doesn't know how to work with a team. Come on, talk together, yeah, let's go. She's used to doing everything by herself. Tell Brenda what you're doing, though. OK. Right behind you, talk to Brenda. But I am an owner and I am a boss, and I need to take control and bring this place back to life. Okay, we just need you to respond. Just because we had a few minutes of downfall, we all we do is get right back up and, and keep going. Yes, yes. Right? We don't dwell on it. We pick up and move on. Yes. 
Table three. Crispy calamari and grilled yellowtail and what else? And shrimp, shrimp come kebab. Up. Keep it going, guys. What do I need for table nine, Faye? Meatball gyro. Meatballs are in the oven. Good news is you're talking. More Thank breaking you. news. <laughs> With Brenda taking control and encouraging Faye, she is responsive again. The two chicken and the one lamb is ready. Excellent. Nice. Table eight. Excellent. And this duo are now pushing out orders at a much faster rate. I like that zucchini fritter. It's good. Yeah. It's fun to you saved me. We got each other's back. We're a team. I am very proud of Brenda tonight. She was my backbone, and it was really nice working as a team. I hope you enjoyed everything, ladies. Yes. Yes, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. The count of three Zainas. <laughs> One, One, two, two three. three. Zaina! <laughs> the flame is back. God bless you all. First of all, night one, we've achieved a lot. It wasn't going to be perfect. But let me tell you, it's pretty good. Feedback. From the customers, what was it? I didn't get one bad complaint. Great. I talked to a few of the tables, and uh, they were really happy. They loved the new decor, and they said this is what a beach restaurant should look like. The look of this restaurant is completely different. Do you know what else is completely different? The way you treat each other. I am very proud, very proud of all of you. Brenda, you are a natural-born leader. Tonight, you confirmed you're a partner. Thank you. Today, she pulled their weight and she held my back up. She's amazing. Chef Ramsey gave me my family back and my restaurant back. I finally have the partner I always wish for. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate you uh, so much. Best of luck. Chef Ramsey has changed our lives, and I am worried about fate going back to her old ways. Well done, my darling. Good job. But we'll see what happens. When I first arrived, I didn't think a relaunch of this restaurant was even possible. Brenda and Faye were completely at odds, and the staff behind them, they had no direction. But unbelievably tonight, Brenda and Faye were working side by side in their kitchen. My only hope now is that Faye really understands that she's not in this alone. Wow. Beaten by a store-bought hummus. Unbelievable. After Chef Ramsay left... I'm gonna come cross out what I just took out. Okay, baby. Zaina became a popular spot in Redondo Beach. <laughs> but unfortunately... That chicken is not done. Faye has taken a step back. I want to just let the chicken because this is the hottest this button in the ground. It's burning, that's why. And her stubbornness has resulted in Vanessa and Emel leaving the restaurant. Whatever. Meatballs are heating up for table six. On the positive side, Brenda has taken on a more active role. It's almost ready. Excellent. And the two owners continue to work on their relationship. Keep it up. You're doing good. Thank you. As well as maintain their newfound success. We're glad to have you here. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you.